the computer security. What do you mean by computer security? These are the these uh, computer security. Why do we study this computer? The security. What is the main objective of this uh, computer security? We have to study. Okay. First of all, now for the best example I give you. If you are constructing house, what do you will do? First thing, you will construct a house. A house, right? Then, what are the security measures you will provide? What are the security measures you will provide? A compound, a compound, and a gate. Okay. This, the basic, then, suppose if you are members, provide electrical furnace suppose it is an organization it is an organization will provide electrical furnace and will provide CCTV CCTV electrical furnace electrical wiring or electrical that it is the compound will be provided these are the in general for a house a normal person will okay. then now coming to computer security what do you mean by this computer security it is providing the security for the systems for unauthorized access. That is unauthorized, that is computer security is defined as providing unauthorized access from the third party is called as computer security. Then what are the some of the basic definitions of computer security? Some of the basic definitions or terminologies where we are using in computer security. First of all, what do you mean by a node? What do you mean by a node or a host? Node or a host or you can call as standalone system. Standalone system is all one terminology you can call as what do you mean by this node? The node is a device where you can able to send information from one device to another device. Or a host is a device where you can send the information and able to receive. This the examples for node is the laptop, then your PC, your phone, mobile phone, mobile phone. Then tablet. Then some other examples we can give for the node. These are some of the examples where you can able to send the information and you can able to receive. This is the first terminology. Then next, <coughs> the client server. What do you mean by a client and a server? A client is a one where you can access the information from the server. The server will be by the server. The server is one where the information is processed and the request is sent to the client. This is called as client and server. Then some more terminologies. Wireless. Warm. Then botnet <coughs> botnet then next phishing phishing then next e logger okay. then what are the components of the computer system then there are three components there are three components first one is the hardware then second one software then third one firmware three components of computer system there are three components that is hardware that is the what are the hardware that is the hardware you can make the keyboard the electrical cable this is all some keyboard printer these are all the hardware devices that 
the system can be connected. The next software. What do you mean by this software? The software is a, a program or a list of instruction that you want to execute a particular task. That you want to execute a particular task or a particular program, then you will be writing set of instructions. Okay. Then next component is firmware. Firmware is one way it is called as the interface or it is called as the activity of an operating system. These are the small components. Now we will see the next uh, uh, terminology is what do you mean by a virus? <laughs> virus. What do you mean by a virus? Okay, now here we are talking of COVID-19 virus. Here we are not talking of COVID-19 virus. What is this virus? It is an external bot agent or external this way. It comes to a person, it comes to a person and it infects. It comes to a person by infected person and it spreads to the another person. It keeps on spreading. It is called as the latest COVID-19 virus. Now, in computer system, what do you mean by this virus? It is a program. It is a program. It is a program. It multiplies or it, it destroys the complete operating system or the complete hard disk. It destroys the complete operating system or whichever the device is copied or it is attached means the entire system or the hard disk it will be destroyed. It is called as the virus. Okay, there are things suppose you can you can use there are so many examples you can use. Suppose you are using in your college lab. There are some virus. Suppose if you insert a pen drive in your college or our college, then suppose if the program is copied, whatever the software, the corrupted virus is copied, means then whatever if you are copying to your system or your laptop or your mobile phone, then the entire things will be copied and then that will be destroyed. That whatever the receiving device or which device it is being copied, then the contents will be erased or it will be contaminated. It is called as virus. The next is war. Why this this then war? What do you mean by this war? War is it multiplies. It multiplies by one by one. Okay? It multiplies and it makes the system as idle or it becomes idle or the system it becomes no use. That is why it's warm. The next thing by this botnet. Thing by this botnet. A botnet is a one okay, which is connected to an internet. Okay? Which is connected to an internet. What do you mean by this? Okay. A small botnet, a program that is connected to internet, then it will be destroying the entire system. That is the latest uh, in the year. This latest uh, botnet, I think in the year 2020, last year, a botnet came and in the entire banking system was standalone. Banking system was that is the bank, entire bank servers were destroyed. So many people they lost their money. Okay, this is one example for botnet. Then next is phishing. What do you mean Phishing. That is, it is a phishing is one. Next, phishing is one. Unauthorized access of information. This unauthorized access of an information is called as phishing. Okay? Unauthorized access of information is called as phishing. The best example you can take so many banking websites.
एग्जाम्पल ऑनलाइन एस बी आई ऑनलाइन एस बी आई और कोटेक्ट महिंद्रा एवर बैंक यू हैव दट जस्ट इफ यू टाइप ऑनलाइन एस बी आई देन सपोज इफ यू गिव एनी मिस्टेक देन यूर इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी है देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू दट इज फॉर दैट स्पेशन देन की लॉगर की लगर दट इज now it is the security features the banks they are providing virtual keyboard facilities virtual keyboard facility and uh, third party or mobile one time password verification these are all the some of the security features uh, facilities that they are providing okay then next how to provide or how to the next then next terminology next are components you can call it as the components or the principles of computer system or a cryptography then first one is confidentiality availability in the form of this three Confidentiality, a confidential. We will call it as confidentiality or P.P. Other. Then what do we mean by confidential? Before discussing this definition, I will give a simple example. I will give. Now you have in your house, your house. Then you have a separate room for you. Separate room. Then. This we will keep your phone number or phone. We will keep as password. We will not share with anyone. That is, suppose if you believe your parents, then only you will share the password. That is called as confidentiality. That is, you are providing only the restricted users. You are providing the password. to restricted use as restricted means means you can take your friend or your parents or your brothers and sisters this some example confidence means if you believe that he is a confident person he is a reliable person then you will give if not will not share okay that is called as confidential that is providing the definition is providing unauthorized access providing unauthorized access of the information is called as confidential then next integrity next what do you mean by this integrity <coughs> integrity is one you are not allowing to modify if you are a, if you are a this if you are a correct user then only you can modify that is example i give you one simple example For confidentiality, availability, and integrity. That is, if you are filling an application, if you are filling an application, you write your roll number, name, then date of birth, then so many other, you are marks and everything. Okay. Then suppose you will give only permission. Suppose if you are uh, you are giving the information or the information, who will have this information? Only suppose if you are studying in a college, if you are studying in a college. Only that department, suppose you are studying in CSC or EC. Only that person, that is suppose you are studying EC third year, third year. C section, then that class teacher, class teacher or HOD will have the permissions to change your details. Okay, this is called as integrity. Then availability. What do you mean by this availability? Availability is one. <coughs> Available. It should be available 
or it should be given to the right person or right person means who is the intended user will not you for everyone this is called as the availability this all the this thing then how we provide security for all these things then by providing antivirus antivirus then firewall firewall then third party verification third party or third party verification then antivirus how do you provide this antivirus 